considered a total ban. Yes, it, it'd be nice in some ways. It's unfortunate for the decent people who would probably want to have a little bit of a picnic with a glass of wine in the park. It's got worse over the past few years, um, but, yeah, you see quite a lot of it about. Never seen so many drunks as you see now. Since 2007, a drinking in public places order has covered parts of Boston Town Centre. It allows police to take action against street drinkers, but only if they're involved in antisocial behaviour. Legislation planned for next year will allow a total ban on all alcohol drinking to be imposed in public areas, with a maximum fine of £1,000 for offenders. But some councillors, like Helen Staples, want any ban to cover the entire borough. She organises litter patrols in her ward of Fishtoft outside the town centre, where volunteers constantly find discarded beer cans. I think the impact of a town centre ban will actually send people out into the other, to the outlying areas and to the villages and drink there, on the nature reserves, in you know, places like Curtin, Fishtoft Village. Police statistics show the scale of the problem. In 2013, 9.1% of all police incidents in Boston were alcohol-related. That's considerably higher than the Lincolnshire average of 6.6%. In the last six years, the number of off-licenses in the town has also increased by more than two-thirds from 35 to 59. Last year, police spoke to 96 people drinking in the streets, 20% were British, while 71% were Eastern European. We found that the older generation sometimes feel it's um, daunting coming into the town centre uh, because if there are groups of individuals that, that are under the influence of alcohol, um, then we do tend to find that it's difficult for them to come and shop um, and, and feel secure while, while they're doing so. While public support for a drinking ban here in Boston may be high, the legislation to make it possible is still some way off. Well, Jake is in Boston at the moment. Now, the councillors may well vote for this, but what's been the police response to this? Because they will have to enforce it, won't they? Well, the Police and Crime Commissioner, Alan Hardwick, has said that he supports new and tougher measures to try and prevent irresponsible street drinking, which has a negative impact on society and can lead to antisocial behaviour. He says that tackling it is a high priority for the police and that he has some meetings scheduled soon with local MP Mark Simmons and the uh, state uh, minister uh, for crime prevention, Norman Baker, and uh, to discuss the specific issues that Boston faces. Jake, thank you very much indeed. Well, Jack Hart is from the Freedom Association, which campaigns for a hands-off approach to government. I asked him whether a ban on drinking in public everywhere was a good way to reduce antisocial behaviour. No, it's not a good way at all. People that already commit antisocial behaviour through drinking alcohol in public are not going to be dissuaded by a ban in drinking alcohol in public. They're just going to carry on as much. They're already breaking the law, so what's to stop them carrying on breaking new rules? But if a drinking ban would stop the drunks and the bad behaviour, then you would welcome it and it's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Well, no, because it's really taking away the choice as an adult to have a drink in public. If you're having a picnic and want to have a glass of wine, why should anyone be able to stop you from doing that if you're going to behave responsibly? Email here from Philip. I cannot for the life of me see why people should be allowed to drink alcohol in public anywhere. This came in earlier today. Uh, won't many people think like that? Well, I don't think so. I think when people actually realise that it's going to restrict their behaviour, they're not going to be able to do things they enjoy doing in public, like I said, having a picnic and a glass of wine, they're really not going to be fans of this. But ordinary people don't drink in public like this anyway, do they? It's only going to affect those who drink and act badly. Those that already drink and act badly are already breaking the law and the police have the powers to deal with them. Just adding a new rule, a new law for them to have to deal with isn't going to stop that. It's just going to be, you know, criminalising people. Yeah, but maybe you don't live in one of these areas where drunks in the streets are causing bad behaviour and antisocial behaviour. The number of people who sit and have a, a glass of white wine in the park is minimal. But if you're going to add yet another thing for the police to be doing, for them to be monitoring everywhere, looking for people that are drinking alcohol, they're not actually going to have the time to focus on those small, that small number of individuals that cause these problems. Their time's going to be taken up with that person having a glass of wine in the park or doing something else reasonable, because they're not going to have the time to be going after those people that are actually causing the problems. Yeah, but when was the last time you sat with a can of lager or whatever in the park having a barbecue? It's a very small number of people. You know, it's not... A, you know, in the summer, I quite like to go for a picnic and have a glass of wine in the park, I'm responsible, I don't cause anyone else any harm, but why should I be criminalised for doing something that's entirely responsible? Mr Hart, very good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.
Well, there we are. The subject of uh, drinking in public places, I'd be uh, keen to get your views on this one. Do you agree with the Freedom Association that a ban is a step too far or is a blanket ban needed to solve the problem uh, of antisocial behaviour by uh, drunk people? Is it fair that it should cover everyone from a family picnic, as we've heard they're sitting in the parks, to uh, alcoholics? Your thoughts on this one? Uh, although we're talking about Boston here, this could be anywhere in the future. Look north at bbc.co.uk. Would you like to see alcohol banned in all uh, public areas, being drunk on the streets? Look North at bbc.co.uk. Text number is 81333. three. Start the text with the word look north as usual. Or follow me on Twitter, p Twitter Peter underscore Levy tweet now. I look forward to hearing from you. We'll have some of your uh, responses on that before we finish at seven. By the way, that meeting at Boston Borough Council is uh, tonight and we should have a, a result, a decision on that in our late bulletin here on BBC One at 10.25. Thank you for watching in a moment on tonight's programme. News now, the time is uh, five minutes to seven. Let's have a recap of the main national and regional headlines. The Home the Secretary tells the Police Federation to carry out reforms or the government will do it for you. And plans to ban street drinking in Boston, but opponents say it's the wrong approach. Those that already drink and act badly are already breaking the law and the police have the powers to deal with them. Just adding a new rule, a new law for them to have to deal with isn't going to stop that. Freedom Association talking on the programme tonight. Tomorrow's weather, overnight thundery rain soon clearing, brighter with further thundery downpours during the day. Top temperatures still very warm, getting up to 20 Celsius, 20 to 68 Fahrenheit. Response then coming in on drinking in public places, which we were talking about after talking to the uh, Freedom Association there. Kieran says uh, they need to ban the really cheap alcohol sold in shops and supermarkets and lower the cost of drinks in pubs. The people who drink in uh, pubs drink in supervised environment and they're not the ones causing the problems. Tony says, I live near Boston. I see this every day. It's become worse since the influx of immigrants. There is no need to drink in the streets. Drinking ban is fine, says Kev, but who is going to police it? Carla says, I don't agree with an outright ban. They just keep doing it anyway. Uh, shame to penalise the responsible drinkers. And Sue says, I can't see the problem of people drinking in public as long as they behave responsibly uh, and don't cause antisocial behaviour. Very big response on this story. As I said earlier, it's being discussed tonight by Boston Borough Council and there should be uh, an answer. We'll have that at uh, half past ten in our late news. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Look after yourself. See you tomorrow. Good night.